The DSMA is an industry organization for the mobile operators, uh, 800 members. We also have about 200 associate members, including vendors and service providers like Facebook and others. So uh, the program that I'm, I'm leading, Personal Data, um, this is about helping the operators to take a role in managing customers, and users' identities online, digital identities, um, helping to facilitate anonymous or authentication of online services, and safely, securely sharing information about the consumers that they gave their consent to, uh, often validated by the operators, um, but shared in a context where it's necessary to know more about the consumers. So with 800 operators, you can't have 800 APIs. It'll look very messy on, on a website if you want to you know, click here to authenticate yourself using a mobile device. So it is, so that one hand, on the other hand, it's absolutely imperative that integration is easy. The use of the APIs is easy for the service providers and the developers. And this means that we need to have one single API or a you know, single set of APIs. And this is facilitated by the One API Exchange. So um, this is really giving us a global discoverability of the service so that when the, the service provider makes a call, it calls the API for authentication, uh, whatever operator that can respond to that authentication request responds correctly. And that's really facilitated by the One API Exchange. Well, I can't talk about all the challenges, <laughs> and I know they all had different approaches to how to handle digital services. Uh, but within, uh, within the program of personal data, and particularly within the initiative for Mobile Connect, um, we see that the, the operators are facing a different set of, of challenges, but one of them that I see coming through again and again is how to make a business out of an API. What is the business model? What's the go-to-market? How are you going to charge for it? What is the target customer segment? Delivering the API in form of the technology is, is you know, it's pretty good. It's pretty feasible. Uh, great engineers everywhere. Uh, but really the go-to-market and the commercialization of an API is usually a challenge and something that we all need to learn how to, how to do. Mm. So it, I think it will vary according to which API you talk about and mm -hmm. how, you know, how to go about it. There will be drivers coming from the IT department in the sense that it makes sense to have a layered architecture within your, within your operations. Um, in this case, it comes from a strategic perspective um, whereby the operators would like to be a, an ingredient in digital services and secondly, or probably most importantly, want to be relevant for the end user in their consumption and use of online services. So in this case, it's actually a strategic initiative. Um, and we see that we meet the marketing and the product people sometimes before the, you know, the technology teams mm -hmm. get involved. So within, specifically within the APIs that we're working um, for in the personal data program, um, this is both for, uh, for internal consumption by the operators um, if they want to use this to, to create a kind of general authentication mechanism, use Mobile Connect to authenticate their consumers for their own services, um, to log into their pages or self help care these things. Uh, but it's also, maybe more importantly, uh, it's an offering to third parties, to developers and to service providers. Um, but these are commercial APIs as well to be consumed externally. <laughs> <laughs> Challenges outside of technology. <laughs> they are, yes, they are plenty. They are plentiful. Um, this is a new domain by by many operators. Really, they have varying degrees of experience. Um, so, what I think, I mean, there's two things. One I think is quite helpful is that we're starting quite narrow, just with a very well-defined API, OpenID Connect. It's you know, it's there. It's an industry standard, um, and that certainly helps. I think in one step at a time. Um, but I think the other challenge is not so much to do with APIs, but it's a result of the fact that we're offering a, a service to third parties and that is a need to cooperate. Um, it, this, you, you can't compete with APIs, is my opinion at least. In, in this space, if you want to be relevant for the operators, you have to find ways of working together, ensuring that uh, the offering is consistent uh, across the whole market and thereby giving predictability to the service providers that by calling this API, I will get a positive response regardless of, the, of which operator is serving this particular customer, this particular end user that I'm mm. now asking to be authenticated. Mm. So I really think this cooperation across a common standard is something that the operators within digital services is something that the operators really now um, are seeing the benefits of and are increasingly getting better at doing as well. Mm. But it has been a challenge, yeah. Mm. Yeah, so again, I'm talking from my own, you know, within my own remit and uh, within the remit of, of Mobile Connect. There are two areas that we, that we see the developments are needed. One is, of course, to get more markets online. Uh, 
um, we had a first launch um, in June of one market with two operators. And we're now looking at other markets as well, supporting them to, to, to launch the service across all the operators. Um, so that's one thing, just getting it, you know, getting the service into the market. Um, but secondly, it's about adding value through the APIs, through the same set of APIs, but uh, by adding context, attributes, more information about the consumers. Of course, in a way that's protecting their privacy, but that's really the next, enriching the APIs that are now. So, uh, at one hand, I'm trying to keep the proposition very simple uh, for the moment, because learning how to work together as operators that normally compete is difficult. So we're starting really with authentication, authentication. we're starting simply, um, but of course we are expanding, you know, we are thinking about what's coming next. And in that sense I see um, data, big or small data, depending on how you look at it, um, really important for various reasons. One of them is to better understand how the APIs are being used and, and consumed, what's working, what is not working, in which context are they more used than in other context. So ensuring that we are setting up the system in such a way that we can generate the data, capturing it and then analyzing it, I think that's the first step. And then of course adding on to that is also understanding much more about how are digital services being consumed, how are they being used, what, what's working, what is not working, and that's adding context and information to you know, to the services that are being offered by the operators. I think the first thing is just just do it. Just get started. There's there's no reason to wait. Um, we've defined a framework that is makes it easy to get started, to get the experience. Just and so just do it. There's no opportunities for the operators is here now. I think. Oh, that's a good question. Um, I think it's quite exciting to be, uh, you know, not for me, but to, to to create a service as part of somebody else's service that can help other service providers, others, you know, other, other things, applications, whatever, to be developed going forward. Having something that is quite basic and helping that to enrich somebody else's to, to make that possible, I think that's quite, uh, quite exciting.